In this video, we can discuss about the factors which will affect the disinfectant action. The factors influencing disinfectant action can be mainly classified into factors connected with the organism, factors connected with the reaction medium, factors connected with the organism and reaction medium. And factors connected with the organisms are species and strain, morphological state, cultural state and previous history. Factors connected with the reaction medium are nature of the medium, inoculum size, concentration of bactericide and connected with the reaction medium and organism are temperature, pH, oxidation reduction potential, reaction between bactericide and constituents of reaction medium and surface effect. We can discuss each factor in detail. First one, factors connected with the organism, species and strain. Some of the species or strain are more resistant towards the disinfectant. For example, gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria are more susceptible to the penicillin, so it can be killed easily by penicillins. But gram-negative bacteria are more resistant towards the penicillin. So, we have to either add another disinfectant or surfactant to increase the uh, disinfectant action or we have to uh, increase the temperature of the disinfectant solution to increase the bactericidal effect. Second factor is morphological state. As we all know, the bacteria may be either in vegetative form or spore forming form. So, always the spores of spore forming microorganism are more resistant than the vegetative form. So, the vegetative cells can be killed by the common disinfectant, but the spores are killed by some special disinfectants like aldehyde and allergen with beta propionylactone and mycobacterium and tuberculosis are killed by iodine, formaldehyde, alcohol and phenolic compounds. Now coming to the next factor that is the cultural state. As we know the bacteria may grow in different phases, lag phases, log phase, stationary phase and decline phase. When organism is in an actively dividing log phase of the growth, they are more sensitive towards the antimicrobial agents. And this sensitivity is due to the minor interference with the replication of nucleic acid and protein synthesis having profundous effect on a continuation of highly metabolic activity. So all the organisms which are susceptible to the chemical at this point of log phase or the maximum growth phase. Now coming to the next factors connected with the organism is previous history. Previous history towards any disinfectant will increases their resistance towards the disinfectant action. For example, if a bacteria is grown in glycerol containing media, it will promote the synthesis of lipids in certain microorganisms. And this synthesis of lipid will result in increasing resistance towards the penicillin. Another one example is, is when a bacteria are grown in a medium which are rich in thiol group, their protoplasm become rich in thiol containing proteins so which can bind a higher concentration of metal ions like mercury and arsenic as than before. So it will increase resistance towards the disinfectant like heavy metals. So that is all about the factors which are connected with the organism. Now coming to the factors which are connected with the reaction medium. First one is nature of the medium. The medium which are used for disinfectant action may be either aqueous or non-aqueous. Most of the bactericides are more active in aqueous solution than in organic or oily solvent except some conditions like effectiveness of chlorhexidine and quaternary ammonium compound are 
greater in 70% alcohol than in aqueous solution. Now coming to the next factor that is inoculum size. The disinfectant action of any disinfectant is mainly depend on the viable and dead cell number in an inoculum. As the dead cell in an inoculum increases, it will decrease the disinfectant action by absorbing some of the disinfectant concentration towards the dead cell. So, if a bactericide is only slightly soluble in its solution, it could become seriously depleted due to take up of some chemicals by dead cells and that will lead to reduction of antimicrobial activity. Now coming to the next factor that is the concentration of disinfectant. Rate of killing is always directly proportional to the concentration. So as the concentration increases, the cidal action also will increases. The concentration of disinfectant and time required to kill the organism are exponential in relationship and it is related by an equation C raised to N into T is equal to a constant where C is the concentration and N is the concentration exponent or dilution coefficient of the disinfectant and T is the death time. From this, the N can be calculated by log T2 minus T1 divided by log C1 minus C2, where T1 and T2 are the death time of disinfectant at the concentration C2 and C1. Now coming to the next factor is temperature. So as an increasing the temperature of bactericide, there will be an increasing velocity of bactericidal action. The temperature and velocity of bactericidal reaction is given by equation temperature coefficient theta raised to T2 minus T1 is equal to K2 divided by K1 is which is equal to T1 by T2 where K1 and K2 are the reaction velocity at temperature T1 and T2 respectively. So from this equation the reaction velocity K is indirectly proportional to the extinction time that indicate as the reaction velocity increases the death time will or extinction time will decrease. So by increasing temperature we can decreasing the extinction time. Importance of theta value is the greater the theta value, greater will be the bactericidal action of the disinfectant when there is a temperature increase. So, value of theta 4 indicate bactericidal action will increase 4 times when there is a specific increasing temperature. Coming to the next factor that is the time of contact. Sufficient time of contact must be there for their disinfectant action in every case. Time can either decrease or increase depending on the increasing temperature or decreasing temperature or increasing concentration or decreasing concentration of the disinfectant. And disinfectant action usually follow the first order kinetics and it follow an equation rate constant or velocity constant k is equal to 1 by t into log n0 divided by nt where N0 is the initial number of or microorganism and NT is the final number of microorganism and T is the time which is required to uh, reduce the viable count from N0 to NT. Coming to the next factor that is the pH. As we all know the optimum pH for the growth of bacteria is 6 to 8. The pH change during the disinfectant process may affect either the rate of growth of microorganism due to the change in pH or degree of ionization of disinfectant or antimicrobial agents and in potency due to the change in pH or adsorption of antimicrobials at the surface. For example, phenol, benzoic acid and salicylic acid these are active in an ionized form 
and it will show maximum activity in acidic pH. Acridine dyes and quaternary ammonium compounds are more active in ionized form and it will show maximum activity in alkaline pH. Now coming to the next factor, the presence of organic matters and other inactivators. Organic matters can adsorb the antimicrobial agents which will cause reduction in the amount of disinfectant which are available for the action and hence it will decrease the efficacy or uh, activity of disinfectants. For example, hypochlorate and formaldehyde will react with extracellular proteins and which will cause reduction in their bactericidal activity in presence of blood, pus, dead cells, etc. So, in short, organic matter will give a mechanical protection to the bacterial cell. It will give more resistance. Now, coming to the next factor that is the surface tension and effect of the formulation. Surfactant and soap when added to a disinfectant solution, it will reduce the surface tension and it will help for the faster penetration of disinfectant into the bacterial cell thereby it will increase the bactericidal effect. As the amount of soap or disinfectant added increases, there will be a decreasing surface tension with a corresponding decrease in extension time. For example, if we are included soap along with the crude phenols, it will decreases the surface tension and it will increases the penetration and it will decreases the extension time. But once the concentration of soap or surfactant reaches the critical micellar concentration, the surface tension remains constant but the extension time will increase. And this is because the disinfectant will leave the aqueous phase and it will enter into the measles. Thereby, there will be a decreasing available concentration of disinfectants for the action in the solution. So, that's why the reduction in bactericidal action at critical micellar concentration of surfactant. Now coming to the next factor that is the nature of surface to be disinfected. So if you are disinfecting an uneven porous or cracked surface which will resist the chemical disinfection due to inaccessibility of disinfectant to the microorganism present. And also deeply situated bacteria flora on the skin will remain unaffected by antiseptic applied on skin surface. Now coming to the next factor that is the chemical structure of disinfectant. Modification of basic structure of disinfectant may either increase or decrease the disinfectant effect. For example, substitution of straight alkaline chain up to 6 carbon atom at para position of phenolic OH group will increase their disinfectant action and straight chain more than 6 carbon in length at para position of phenolic group will decrease the activity of phenolic compounds. If we are combining straight chain with branched chain the straight chain substitution will increase the activity of disinfectant like phenols. Now nitration and halogenation will increase the activity and toxicity of phenolic disinfectant. Alkyl group ortho to OH group and halogen at para position to OH group will increase the activity of phenolic compound. Now coming to the next factor that is the potentiation, synergism and antagonism. Potentiation of disinfectant lead to enhanced antimicrobial activity due to addition of some other disinfectant. For example, if you are adding the surfactant to the disinfectant, it will potentiate the effect of disinfectant. If we are using two antimicrobial agents together, it may cause synergic effect 
Sometimes antagonism may be the antagonism will lead to decreasing antimicrobial activity and antagonists are mainly used to eliminate the antimicrobial properties of material which are to be tested for sterility. So that is all about the different factors which will influence the disinfectant action. These are the some questions from this portion. Write a short note on factors affecting disinfectant action. Write a note on effect of temperature on disinfectant. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.